These are the moments that marked a generation. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 defining moments for Generation X. For this list, we're looking at the cultural and political moments, events, and trends that shaped Generation X, focusing on an American perspective. The exact age ranges of various generations are debated, but we'll be following the Pew Research definition, which identifies Generation X as those born between 1965 and 1980. Number 10, the death of Kurt Cobain. Hi, I'm Kurt Loder with an MTV News special report on a very sad day. Kurt Cobain, the leader of one of rock's most gifted and promising bands, Nirvana, is dead. And this is the story as we know it so far. The untimely demise of this music legend has never really lost its poignance. As later generations discover his musical legacy, they mourn his death all over again. Born in 1967, Kurt Cobain was not only a quintessential member of Gen X, but among those leading its charge. As the frontman of grunge band Nirvana, he gave voice to the rebellious spirit and disenchantment of a generation, as the optimism of the 60s and 70s drained away. For people too young to remember when Jim Morrison or Jimi Hendrix or even John Lennon died, the death of Kurt Cobain just 10 days ago evoked a similar sense of loss. At the time of his death, he was just 27 years old, but during his short lifetime, he became a living icon, one still considered emblematic of Gen X today. For fans who experienced the rise of Nirvana firsthand, his death was a major blow. Number 9. Black Monday Most Gen Xers were too young to have made investments in the 80s, but when your parents start talking like it's the end of the world, you tend to pay attention. The stock market crash on October 19, 1987 began in Hong Kong and spread to Europe and North America with the Dow Jones dropping a staggering 22.6%. But this crash of 1987 is not just an American experience. Around the world, stock markets fell faster than a skydiver without a parachute. Even for teens, the panic at home was palpable. People feared that they'd lose everything. And there were no smiles. In fact, people began to look more and more somber. Thankfully, unlike the crash of 1929, Black Monday's crash did not result in a major recession. Some Gen Xers would experience a similar panic themselves when the dot-com bubble burst at the turn of the millennium. Number 8. Jonestown The shocking news of the Jonestown mass suicide reached even those in their early teens, such as the eldest Gen Xers. On November 18, 1978, Jim Jones, the leader of American religious cult The People's Temple in Guyana, orchestrated the mass murder-suicide of over 900 members. Coupled with everything else going on in the world, Jonestown was yet another sign that the youth of Generation X was growing up in a bleak era, one defined by hopelessness, distrust, and cynicism. It's unfathomable, I don't, and I don't think there's been anything like that since. It's just... It's so many minors, over 300 children. Yeah. Mm, so sad. This scarring moment gave birth to the expression drinking the Kool-Aid, embedding itself in the minds and rhetoric of popular culture. Number 7. The Oklahoma City Tragedy Nowadays, it seems like a tragic act of violence occurs every other week in the U.S. But back in the 1990s, such acts were far from commonplace on American soil. On April 19, 1995, Timothy McVeigh and Terry Nichols detonated explosives outside the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building, killing 168 people. They sought revenge for the Ruby Ridge Siege in 92 and the Waco Siege in 93, in which 76 armed religious sect members died in a fire during the FBI's assault. This day remi reminds me of when we lost so many wonderful good people for such a lousy no good reason. The scale of the destruction rocked the nation to its core. Even the youngest Gen Xers were teens at the time and old enough to grapple with the implications. And I'm 22 years old. I'm too young to lose my mother. This wasn't a tragedy in some far off land. It happened in their own backyard. Number 6. Operation Desert Storm The Gulf War lasted just six months, but its combat phase, Operation Desert Storm, burned itself into the minds of Generation X. The media coverage of this military offensive to expel Iraqi forces from Kuwait was unprecedented, bringing live footage of combat into the homes of Americans across the country, a first in television history. Not only were people seeing the conflict play out from their living rooms, they were bombarded with the images around the clock. Stand by for just a minute. We have some pictures and I'm being told of what appears to be a Patriot missile fire. They're going, they're going over here, over here. There 
people were watching missiles drop in real time on the other side of the world. CNN's coverage in particular changed not only the face of news, but people's understanding of war as well. Number 5. The Rise of the Personal Computer You are now free to operate all electronic devices. What a hard-working bunch. And you're working harder than most. Just as millennials grew up with smartphones but remember a time before, so it goes with Gen Xers and personal computers. Those born in the Gen X window are among the youngest to recall life without a PC in the house. Sure, computers had been around for decades, but it wasn't until the 1980s that manufacturers started pushing them at the consumer level. And only in the 1990s did they become a fixture in homes across America. Their spread was quickly followed by the rise of the global internet, which became mainstream by the end of the decade. Like television, PCs fundamentally changed work, leisure, and the way we consume and disseminate information. They can provide games to amuse you, they can be used to tell you what's playing at the theater, or what you've got in the closet. Number 4. The Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster For baby boomers, it was the space race and the moon landing. Sadly, for Gen X, as with many of our other entries, space exploration was colored first and foremost by tragedy. On January 28, 1986, the Challenger broke apart just 73 seconds into its flight. Reports from the flight dynamics officer indicate that the vehicle uh, apparently exploded. What? What? Though the American public has lost interest in NASA launches in more recent years, back in 1986, people were still crowding around the television to watch. So imagine that moment when hope turned to despair as millions witnessed the fireball that killed all seven crew members. Usually the night before, I, I had the same nightmare that what I saw today, and uh, I thought it was a dream. I... It's estimated that 17% of all Americans watched in real time, and that 85% knew within the hour. It was a disaster that put a damper on space exploration for years to come. Number 3. The AIDS Crisis Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome Once thought to affect only promiscuous homosexual males, AIDS is now spreading in epidemic proportions to other segments of the population. For those born into a time after the spread of AIDS, it's almost impossible to imagine living in a world without it. Millennials grew up learning about the dangers of STDs, with this chronic threat at the heart of sex education. Gen X, however, saw its introduction into mainstream consciousness fundamentally changing the entire generation's relationship to sex. Suffice it to say, the discovery of the illness was handled incredibly poorly, with much prejudice against people in the queer community. When AIDS was first discovered more than two years ago, it was sometimes called the gay plague. Many Gen Xers were teens during the epidemic and saw their transition into adulthood occur under this foreboding cloud. A cloud of hate, fear, confusion and misinformation. At first, only gays and IV drug users were being killed by AIDS. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. Number two, the Los Angeles riots. I just, I just wanna say, you know, can we, can we all get along? Can we, can we get along? Racism has affected every generation of Americans, past and present. We've already talked about Generation X's association with cynicism and distrust. But arguably no single abuse of power left a greater mark than what occurred on March 3, 1991. This is the day that the LAPD was filmed savagely beating African-American construction worker Rodney King. Even though it was all on video, a predominantly white jury acquitted the officers. It sends a bad message. It says it's okay to go ahead and beat somebody when they're down and kick the crap out of them. And it's okay because if, it, if it's not videotaped, don't worry about it. Another brother officer won't turn you in. Within hours of the verdict, an outraged public expressed their frustration and rage in the 1992 Los Angeles riots, which saw 63 people killed and over 12,000 arrests. The following year, the Department of Justice convicted two of the officers of violating King's civil rights. Well, I think justice has been served, finally. Um, I just, you know, hope everybody just stay calm and, you know, there's nothing left to burn. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Fall of the Berlin Wall The Berlin Wall, once it divided east from west, now on its way to becoming an artifact of history. 
Before Generation X, the Cold War was a normal state of affairs, decades old by the time they were born. The Berlin Wall was a potent symbol of the conflict, and the Iron Curtain dividing the Soviet Union's Eastern Bloc from Western Europe. So its fall was a landmark event not just for Germany, but for the world. We're talking about a generation that's been called lost, hopeless, beaten down, and forgotten. Now, what's it feel like to be standing on top of the wall? It's incredible for me. It's uh, I can't uh, describe really the, my feelings. It's uh, something unreal for me. But in 1989, they witnessed a historic moment of hope. Amid the many televised tragedies that define their lives, they were given cause instead to cheer. And cheer they did. For all the ugliness in this world, here was the proof that it could also change for the better. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.